Okay. Okay, but you do know that cops that the rate of cops killing blacks is pre is phenomenally lower. Blacks are killed blacks kill blacks higher rate. You're more likely to die from another black person than you are from a cop. Yeah, and a lot of the time they're justified. Right. I don't think they're justified. Right. A conversation they're, is not speaking fast so that a person can't interject. Because you already know your point, right? I know. So a yeah. right. So yeah. you have your opinion. You're clearly a radical, like conservative type no. of person. No. I'm, not very, like, I'm not very radical. Right. I'm, I'm not radical. I'm centralist right now. There are things I agree with liberals. I agree with liberals on things like weed. I agree with liberals on things like... Right, but when you say things like, um, we're sheep, we're eating grass, so that... Yeah, so because you're perfect. You wanna, the, the, the narrative that you want to push is that we shouldn't talk about oppression. No. We have to talk about oppression. I'm not, if we don't, oppression will go... Un no, un that's right? not that, no, that's like, not what I mean by that. Is to say that you're following on a path without thinking. Yeah, that's actually not yeah. what. People because you're perpetuating the same thing the media says: how black people are oppressed, how this is just like slavery, how cops are roaming out in right that, that they're right wing that they're right wing death squad that they're right wing death squads gunning down people. No, there isn't. Most cop killings are justified. Most cop killings are justified. So. And I, and I I'm actually so FBI statistics are wrong then. No, your statistics are skewed because it's all about where you get your information from. The FBI. So if the FBI, but that can also be FBI. You know how much cover-ups is in the FBI? Just yeah, for sure. What you're doing is perpetuating your own work process. So you're always going to get information from establishments that are some sort of seated on white supremacy. That's oh my call. God, it's seriously, true. seriously, yeah, seriously. seated on white supremacy. Seated, right? Grounded on, seated right? on white supremacy. Of, you are a byproduct of white supremacy. White supremacy, right. right. It's a real thing. Right. So when, so when statistics show that more whites are killed, you don't think that maybe if they were white supremacists, they'd want to cover that up and make it make black statistics higher to right make black people. people. In the country. Yeah, right. but figures right. have been adjusted. So, so the point is, is how black people are killed. So it's the They're numbers. killed by other blacks. Right, but you're talking about numbers, but you're not thinking about percentages. If you have 12.9% of people in this country identifying as black, and out of that 12.9%, the percentage is high of that 12.9%. The numbers are high within that small group of blacks being killed by police officers with impunity. No, that's just a fact. Impunity meaning like this, nothing happens to them. No, so it, cops just don't see them. You're skewing a statistic. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So like, okay, basically, it, but the statistics, the statistic between blacks being between cops killing whites and cops killing blacks have been adjusted due to the population. They have to. A. B. No, cops don't just go out in right wing death squads and gun them down in the street. There's always a reason. Yes, there are some cases where the cops genuinely fuck them, and nine out of ten times they end up getting in trouble. Those guys who choked out what Eric That's Garner, the guy true. who said I can't breathe, they got arrested. They yes, they do no, actually. No, was killed with he, his daughter and, and the cop is being investigated and the cop is being investigated if he was a white man that would not happen you yes it would have yes it would have there was a guy in Missouri there was a guy in Missouri who went on a killing spree there was a black guy in Missouri who went on a killing spree killed eight people within the right. killed eight people and a sheriff he killed eight people and a sheriff white cops in this country you can't tell me any different what do you mean? There was a guy in Missouri they who killed are, eight people. Eight people. Right. Oh my God. Eight people, and the cops didn't kill him. Domestic terrorism on people, and you, they don't even get Wait, so now you're just gonna in. blame an entire race of people? I'm going to say you're gonna blame an entire I'm race. I'm saying that they get to operate with impunity. No, they don't. Cops kill more whites. The guy who killed all of those people, the white old man who shot all of those people at that concert, right? He was not being the terrorist. There was he was a gun runner. There was nothing said about his beliefs. He was just a crazy old white man. He yeah. got one guy. What do you mean? The media, the media railed about. Into, um, you know, a group of people downtown by Stuyvesant High School, and it's automatically a terrorist. This is a okay. That's issue because. With White okay, that's because okay. Do you want to know why? Because okay, ready? 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 Okay. Oh wow, I totally believe in white supremacy. Yeah. Okay, ready? It's not a terrorist attack. Okay, it's not a terrorist attack. It's not. It's not a terrorist. It's not a terrorist attack when there's no political aim. A, po a terrorist attack when you when you commit violence to pol to further a political goal. When you when you. 
not have to have a political agenda. That's literally the definition. Google the definition, Xavier. When you when you use violence to further a political aim, that is the definition of terrorism. That is the definition of terrorism. Are you just going to do what the alt right does? It's everyone else's fault. It's everyone else's fault. It's everyone else's fault. That's what the alt right does. Terrorism means. You can be a white man oh my God. who is a terrorist. There is the message. Yes, obviously. The the no one denies that. No you one denies that. All of these no one denies that. Yeah, but they have a political aim. The Vegas shooter had, as far as we know, no political aim. Terrorism. The unlawful use of violence. The unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. The Vegas shooter, as far as we know, unless something comes out. What do you mean? You're not smarter than the dictionary. Yes, I am. I bet you I am. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm a highly intelligent woman. Yes. 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 You're smarter than Miriam Webster. You're smarter than Miriam Webster dictionary. You're smarter than Miriam. Whoa. Whoa. That could be any way. Think about it. Whoa. Never said they weren't terrorists. They are terrorists. Never said they weren't. Who killed all those people? That was terrorism. We don't know if there was a political aim. If there's a political aim, it's terrorist. And by the way, the guy who mowed through, and by the way, the guy who ran over people in that truck he ranted in on Tuesday, there that was terrorism because he had a he had a an ideological aim. He had a religious aim. So do all so does Dylan Roof when he came into that. No one said he wasn't. Okay. He had a political aim. No one said he did. No one said he did. Political aim, that's false. Oh, we, what? Can all, we can all say we have a political no, aim. No, if you... Karina can have a political aim by being... If a, if a person randomly shoots up a store with zero political aim, no, I know, or mentioned, then it's not terrorism, it's just a shooting. Yeah. It's just insane. Right. was it just a shooting. Diminish, and this is the problem with people like you. When you really? diminish I don't even know why you are. Terrorism? No. I don't even know why either. She Somebody thinks she's smarter than dictionary. I, I literally told her the definition. No, you gave I told her the definition. You gave a narrow definition. What do you mean? I read it right off yeah. line. A right off line. You're not smarter than the dictionary. I'm sorry you think that, but you are not. You are not. You are not smarter than dictionary. Miriam. Miriam, the systematic use of terror, especially as a means of coercion, to further political aim. Yes, but if you randomly shoot up like like Sandy Hook or. Is. Yes, but politics is anything. Yes, but that's the person who shut. Yes, but Adam Lanza, as far as we know, still has no political aim. He just no. wanted to do it because right. he was autistic. Because, he was autistic, because right? It's not a political Something. Aim that you understand. Anything is political. If you can sway a group, think about it. If you can sway a group to believe what you believe, that's politics, huh? Yeah, but when you randomly do it, it's not political aim. Everybody who hurts people of color. Yes, that's terrorism. But when you randomly shoot up a place like the Vegas guy did, as far as we know, but, it, but the Vegas the Vegas guy had zero political end. There's no one that's you think so you and you're just gonna and you're just gonna keep perpetuating the same thing over and all black people are oppressed that all that all minorities are oppressed that cop the cops will go out in right wing death squads and gun down blacks no they don't no they don't no they don't the guy who killed Fernando Castillo was being invested wasn't he actually fired he was fired he was fired he was fired I can say that, you yeah. are, then you are misguided, right? You are, you are perpetuating white supremacy. Wait, wait, so it's either you, you agree with us or... That says you can kill us wait, so it's either you agree with us or you're a white supremacist and therefore, and therefore yeah, so you're a disgrace you are, to your race? You are, you know, I wonder what I wonder what other kind of people say you're a disgrace to your race. Yeah, I really wonder. No, I didn't Tell me, say that. I didn't say that. If you perpetuate white supremacy, you that means you're a disgrace that. to your race, you right? That. You're saying that if I don't agree with the left-wing narrative that all black people are living in fucking Nazi Germany, that therefore, therefore I'm in, that therefore I'm a disgrace. I don't think anyone has ever challenged you, but that won't. That's Plenty of people have challenged me. I've debated people on the right, I've debated people on the left. I met genuine neo-Nazis. Like shit. But you got to know what the words actually mean behind the definition. And that's why I'm gonna stop it. We can have this conversation again tomorrow.
Oh. <laughs>